You know, I just want to say some words about eulogies. Um, when Bill Spellman died, uh, it was Sunday, June 1st, 1997. I got the call from Mickey that the doc had passed. Even before I made it to Cedar Rapids, made it to uh, see Donna, I knew that I wanted to deliver the eulogy. I also knew that I was working on an incredibly short time frame because uh, as was decided very early on, the funeral was going to be on Wednesday. So you've got to crank this thing out quickly, Steve, and get Donna's approval, which for the record, getting Donna's approval was the hardest part of this all because there was no way anybody's going to stand up and in any way dishonor the memory of her husband. Um, having the funeral on a Wednesday was a mistake. We really should have pushed it back to Saturday because we had 800 people at the funeral. Had we pushed it back to a Saturday, it would have been, we'd have needed to rent out the Five Seasons Center. That was a comment Mike McDonald made because um, as it was, we had 800 people at his funeral. Anyhow, when I got up, before I got up to give it, I had a meeting with a minister. And I said to him, I'm really good at what I do. But my connection to Doc, to say that was the hardest speech I ever had to give is an understatement. So he said, if I can't get through this, here is my speech. I want you to finish it for me. And so he, he read through it carefully. He was ready to give it if, if need be. Fortunately, I was able to keep it together. I thought about this a lot as the TV show Succession is coming to a close. There is a scene where the son, Roman Roy, played unbelievably well by Kieran Culkin, started giving the eulogy for his father and he lost it. Couldn't do it. And I, I so understand that feeling. The first 10 seconds into Doc's eulogy, I was like, you, you are not gonna get through this dude. But I did. And I did because Spellman was closer to me than any friendship, any family. As my friend Ali put it, I can't think of one of you without the other. So I have no idea how my life, actually I do know how my life would be different had he lived. I'd be a labor arbitrator in America and have made a lot more money than I've ever made in my life. But uh, yeah, eulogies are weird. I think only of, of all my friends of other cultures and religions, they don't do them. So this is a this is obviously some form of a, I don't know if it's an American thing, so much as a Judeo-Christian thing, whatever, I don't know. But eulogies are weird. Because life is weird. So why shouldn't death be weird? <laughs>